Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, Kellen with Droid Life. So today we're gonna just take a quick look at uh, Go Launcher's new tablet launcher. It's called Go Launcher HD. It's in beta right now, you can download it. We'll have a link at the blog. Um, it's free, obviously, for now until they uh, throw it in the market. But I uh, just wanted to show it to you because it's a really nice actual tablet launcher. Now, some other people have tried to make tablet launchers. A lot of them end up being not so awesome. This one, so far, appears to be really great. So um, when you load it up, this is obviously the first screen you get to. You can see you sort of have this dock down here. So they've still kept a dock, even though with Honeycomb, there isn't really a dock like we had on uh, um, Gingerbread or on phones, even with Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwich, things like that. So anyways, you have a dock, you have five pages, so you can scroll between them. You see there's no transitions or anything. I wouldn't doubt it if they if they don't add those later on in the future. So anyway, you got your search up top. You have your app, tr app drawer button up top, um, top right. And you have an edit button, which allows you to edit screens and you have a settings menu. So um, I'm gonna start adding stuff, but I found the easiest way to do that already is if you just hit the edit button. Um, it brings you up to this menu, which shows you all of your screens with a grid so you can see exactly where your applications or widgets and things like that are going. So if you want to add one, all you do is click and hold for a second, tap and hold for a second, and just drag it right onto there. Okay, so that's kind of sweet. If you want to do folders, you can do folders. You can do shortcuts. You can do widgets, and they don't have the fancy widget menu, but you can do it this way. Um, let's just grab like Google Voice, and you can see tap and it throws it right on there. So it's not the fancy honeycomb and ice cream sandwich widget menu where you can scroll and drag. I don't know if they'll add that in the future. Um, We'll see. Anyway, this is how you do it for now. And then if you want to drag something and move it around, you can do that while in this preview menu as well. Um, and then they also have a Go widget menu. I don't have any of those installed, but if you had all those Go widgets installed, you could grab those and drag those to wherever you want as well. So um, that's basically your, uh, your preview screen so you can edit. Um, there's also your super zoomed out view where you can add or delete more home screens. And if you want to delete one, just exit. You can also move these around. So, done some nice things there. Um, if we go back, there's this home screen. I just screwed up my whole menu. There we go. Um, I think this button is wallpaper. Yep, so the other button up here is a wallpaper button, so you can choose wallpaper. Um, but let's go ahead and get out of this. So, dock down here, you can actually drag apps to that. You can rearrange them all you want. You'll notice if I'm rolling over one, it's actually highlighting it. So that's allowing me to create a folder. If I just drop an app on top of another app, it creates an automatic folder, just like Ice Cream Sandwich does. And then you can you know, drag these around, create another folder if you want. That's what the folder menu looks like. You can tap in here and name it if you'd like, and add other apps to your folder, things like that. So. Nice, right? Um, you can long press, resize widgets just like you can in with normal honeycomb um, functionality. And uh, let's go to the app drawer and just show you that. I don't have a ton of apps on my Zoom, so you can't really see, um, but it looks like it scrolls left to right just like honeycomb does. Again, not a lot of transitions or anything, but in here you can also look at your widgets. You can see what apps are running. Um, you can arrange it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There you go, alphabetically earliest installed, things like that. You can add folders right into here. So you can touch all the apps you want, create a folder, which is up here now. So there's a folder to a bunch of apps. If you wanna go ahead and delete that, just long press, hit the X, ask if you want to release all of those apps, and there they are, so you won't be uninstalling those. Um, yeah, you know, that's pretty much it. You can go into their settings menu real quick and go to preferences. And you'll see in here, you got a couple of things, grid size, app drawer, grid size. You can adjust a few different settings. You can back up and restore. And that's sort of all they've got so far in the beta. So that's why I said I wouldn't be surprised if they added in some transitions, some custom transitions and stuff like that to your home screen. So, but for now, yeah, let's go launch your HD. Just want to give you guys a quick preview of that. Go download it. Like I said, we'll have a link at the blog for Droid Life.